Hey guys, happy February 4th. Now, February 4th might not be an important day in your life, but it certainly is in mine. February 4th is the day that I met Jesus in a jail cell, and my life has never been the same. And I celebrate February 4th every year because I am so thankful that the Lord Jesus Christ pulled me out of a party girl lifestyle, just living for the world, living for myself, being selfish, and pulled me into a relationship with him. I am so thankful that I got that drunk driving on February 4th, 2006. It's been 15 years and I just can't believe everything the Lord has done in my life over the past 15 years. And I just want to encourage you today that if you don't know Jesus Christ in a personal way, um, even if that means you just grew up going to church your whole life and you never have really taken the time to get to know him and to get to know his actual plans for your life, make today the start of that. Make today the start of your born again experience. You see, when we're born into this world, you know, on our birthday, that is when we're born into the world naturally, but we also have to be born again spiritually. And today I would say is the day that the Lord changed my whole life and I cried out in that jail cell that I did not want to live life the way I was living it. And I, I had an experience in there with him and I wanted to know him more. And I came out and I started going to church and I found, it took me a while to find a, a good spirit-filled church, Bible-based spirit-filled church. But once I did, I just, I just soared with the Lord. And I would encourage you today, don't let anybody hold you back from that. Don't let anybody hold you back from that lifestyle. Also, don't let any situation that you're going through right now, even as a Christian, don't let any situation take your focus off God and his plans for your life and your purpose because the enemy right now wants to suck all the life out of Christians. He knows we're in the end times. He knows, you know, it's his last, it's his final quarter and he knows what's at stake here. So don't let anything get your focus off from fulfilling every single thing that the Lord has for you to do in this time and in these end days. And so I wanted to just bring up the scripture, um, John 10, 10, where it says, the thief's purpose is to steal, kill, and destroy. My purpose, the Lord's purpose, is to give them a rich and satisfying life. So yeah, that's so true in my life. The enemy for years wanted to just steal, kill, and destroy. And he doesn't do it in just one day. He, he does little things over time, you know, introduces kids into drugs and alcohol and, and pornography. And, and with these little daily interactions, the enemy, over the years, the enemy just begins to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's his ultimate purpose. If he can keep us out of that deep, personal relationship with Jesus and into a lifestyle of sin and everything that the world offers us, he's done his job. So I would encourage you today, find Jesus while he can be found because the enemy, the devil, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God, Jesus Christ has come to give you life and life more abundantly and a satisfying and a rich life with purpose. And, and we just think that this life is just about, you know, having a job and having a family and, you know, those going on vacation and those types of things. But it's not because in the end, it's, it's only what we did with Jesus Christ. Did we accept him as our Lord and Savior so that we can go to heaven? Did we accept him and his purpose for our life? So it's, it's what did we do with him? And then what are we doing for him? And, and that is what brings us a true and satisfying and rich and abundant and purposeful life. So what I would encourage you today, don't let anything stop you. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let 
um, things that you're going through in life stop you from pursuing that deep, deep relationship with Jesus Christ. I love him. I love February 4th. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. And you you guys just seek with him. Seek him with your whole heart and he will not disappoint. I promise you that. Love you guys. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.